Hello children, in this video we will get to know about mailing labels. What are mailing labels? Mailing labels are usually pieces of paper with adhesive on the back that can be affixed to packages or envelopes to identify the name and address of an addressee. They may also indicate the name and address of the person sending the mail. So you can, mailing labels can be taken as the slips that we use to paste on the products, right? Which contains the information about the products. And you can take uh, example of mailing labels as the slips, your name slips that you paste on your notebooks, uh, on your books. Mailing labels can be essential and time saving for the people who must send out a large volume of mail. Numerous word processing programs have label maker software that can turn a unique set of addresses into labels. People need only add special addressy paper to their printer and specify the size of each label on the paper in order to get needed results. So we have programs which converts the address into labels right so how we can create the labels that we are going to do see this is my open office space and i have created a table label table here in this i have inserted the data that i want to have on my labels Title, first name, last name, contact number, and city. Right? Okay. Fine. Then, from here only, I am going to open my text document. Okay. So, this is my text document. How you will create the label? Click on the file menu and then click on the new. And then click on labels from here you will get the label window in label window we have database from this you can select the database that you want so i have selected new database 8 and the table label table that i have already created now we have to select the fields that we want to have on our labels before selecting the fields i want i'm going to remove already selected data right so first we will select the title give the space and then first name give the space last name give the space and then press enter contact number enter and city after this in the format tab we have brand and type from here you can select the brand and the type of your label so let us select the type so here i want to select so i have selected j8 160 row addresses fine now we have format tab and the option tab in format tab we have got different options to format our label first we have a horizontal pitch which is the overall overall width of the label then vertical pitch overall height or you can say length of the label then we have width and height of the label left margin from the paper and top margin columns and rows so here we can make changes in all of them so let us suppose i want to make this four vertical two 
this is my top margin columns i want two columns and seven rows fine okay options in options we have synchronized contents right and this is selected what does it mean it means when you check the synchronized content if you will make changes in any one label that will be applied to all the labels right so uh, i have selected it fine after setting all the features of the label click on new document so here i have got the label you can see see if i make changes in any of the label right if i want to change the background color if i want to give yellow or okay so i have given this to all the now if i want to change this so i have increased its size from 13 to 14 and then this when i click on the synchronize synchronize labels it will be applied to all the labels you can see okay okay now what we we will do now click on control p right okay do you want to print a form letter yes right now we have got mail merge window right if you want to select particular content then click on shift and then click let us suppose i want to select first four addresses click on four right and if you want to select non continuous entries then click on control and select right okay according to your choice so here you will get the selected records only print out of the selected record only right so i want i don't want i want all the records to be printed so i have clicked on all fine and then click on okay since i don't have printer attached with my document so i am it will be saved for the future use so again i'm clicking on the print see save the file as so i am saving it as mailing labels click on save fine so our labels are saved we are going to check them these are our mailing labels that we have just created